Now, Bill, we know that communication is very important, telling the story, even brands, corporation use, but they have that storytelling techniques, the feeling of, you know, I want to buy this for, or it gives me uh, some feeling. So what are those techniques that job seekers can use when they're telling their story or during the interview time or, or, or on their LinkedIn or their cover letter? Is there any tips that you can give? Well, yeah, there, there's really two core tips that everybody needs to consider. Mm -hmm. Number one, have a good story. Yeah. And uh, number two, be a good storyteller. Uh, if you, if you're a great storyteller, but you have a bad story, it's not going to work. Yeah. If you have a great story, and you're not a good storyteller. That's not going to work. Practice those two things. And, mm -hmm. and, and really when you talk about what are the elements of a great story and why do we even tell stories? Well, at its heart, we do like stories, but, know this, that what story does, especially in a job setting or a sales setting, is it's not just about entertaining. It's about creating connection. Yes. And it's about breaking down barriers. Because look, if you're applying for a job, uh, depending upon the nature of the employer, they may be having very resistant behaviors. They're waiting to hear, are you really the right person? And they've got their, their guard up. But a great story when you make a connection allow someone to take their guard down. Mm -hmm. And when you weave in the elements of story, you now start to incorporate elements that are critical for the job interview or for the sales process, but they move in a very subtle way. So people are less resistant and they can receive them better. For example, a great story always starts with character development. And if it's, if it's a, a, a story about you, they need to know you. They need to like you. They need to trust you. And if you think about every move you've ever seen, what happens in the first 20 minutes? You need to fall in love and relate to a character or two. Yes. Because once you fall in love with that character, now you care about the journey they're about to experience. And every journey uh, in a great story involves conflict. Yes. And then the celebration that someone can share with you when someone they care about overcomes that conflict and has a victorious outcome or a life lesson. So if you can tell a story, for example, that makes them relate to you, tell them about something you've had to work through, something you've learned. Tell them about the journey you went through, maybe the struggle or something you had to overcome. But tell them what you've learned from that lesson and how that's made you a better person or how you've been able to use that as an instrument to help others. That's a very, very foundational story. But if you can get that, that can be a key to using story to break through in that relationship. And usually during an interview, they ask behavioral question. Tell me about a time happened this. And I feel that the storytelling part, as you said, practicing, you know, at this situation, this is what happened. I overcome this and I learned this and I helped others. So that's how you're telling your stories. You know, you overcome, as you said, a particular issue. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously, too, be prepared. Yeah. And when they ask you those questions, know that uh, that is going to come up at some level. Yeah. And, and it's great. Great storytellers and great inter interviewees will uh, prepare a handful of stories. Yeah. And they won't just have it in their head. They'll practice it. They'll rehearse it. One of the things that we do here in the television enter entertainment space, we, I, I talk to my team about all the time. If the first time you deliver a story or perform a song or, or do a performance, the first time you do it is live in front of an audience, you failed. Yeah. Because at best, you've delivered a mediocre or good performance when you could deliver an excellent story, an excellent performance. And that comes with practice. Yeah. And so take it seriously. Don't think that you can just do it off the cuff and everything's going to be okay. You practice it. You, you go through the journeys. You make it better. You refine it. So that when the time comes that you have the privilege of telling your story, you tell it exceptionally well. And by the way, it could be the only time you get to tell it. Practice makes perfect, as we all know. Thank you for those great